Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane and today we're in Paris to teach you guys a little bit how I journal. I got a question the other day saying, hey Jay, can you show us exactly what you write, how you come up with video ideas every single day? If that's you and you wanna learn more, all you gotta do is just watch this vlog. We have a couple things on our agenda. Today we're actually going to the best croissant in Paris, apparently. We don't know if it's actually the best, but I was Googling the best bakeries and then after we have a meetup, we're going to the gym. Showing you around the city a little bit and I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys, so this place, we got the best croissant, it's called De Gâteau et de Pain. Don't mind again. De Gâteau et de Pain. De Gâteau et de Pain. Almost. De Gâteau et de Pain. 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 Alright. So, look at this guys. <laughs> so let's try it, ready? Man, this is better than Starbucks, by far. Starbucks? It's like, is that really what you're gonna compare it to? 20 out of 20, man. I will link it below. If you guys wanna go to the same place, that's a review. Ding, ding, ding. So I got this porridge, it kinda looks interesting. So we're gonna try this out. Yeah, I don't like it. All right, guys, we're in our Uber, now driving to the meetup. I'm super excited to meet you guys because there's something about French and this place in France that makes it super magical. And then we're gonna actually dive into the first tip of this video for kind of like how to journal. And the first one actually is about the importance of why you should care. Um, I think the first thing is all about clarity. And when I feel like I journal and I put my stuff down in words and my ideas, I definitely feel like I'm more likely to accomplish it because because when you visually see something, as a human brain works, like we are, we intend to actually work on it instead of just thinking about it. And the second reason why I think you guys should literally just care is I think progress is everything. The only, I genuinely believe this, but the only way to achieve any of your goals is to accomplish it in small wins. So chunking it down into smaller pieces. If you wanna get across the side of the mountain, you need to do little milestones to accomplish it. So I generally think a journal gives you that small wins, daily progress, you know, just every day showing your growth to accomplish where you want to go. So now that you know that, we're going to dive into the video. I'm just gonna get right into this video. I just want you to understand though that I used to not be a morning person. Whoever created mornings, um, God, I know you're out there, but why? If you're anything like me, I just never like mornings until, until I started figuring out a scheduled journal. It changed my life, it honestly does, okay? So Jay wakes up at 5.30 a.m. every morning now. This is how I journal to get shit done. This is not some bullet journal, aesthetic ass, nice looking thing. Literally, if you wanna see, this is my old notebook. There's just so much, so much handwriting you can't even read, but it gets the job done. I've grown this channel from zero to 100K. This is what I do to do this shit. Not trying to brag, but just to give an idea, this is not a feelings journal. <laughs> I think too many times we forget that journaling looks cute and stuff, but I, this is the last thing that's cute. It looks disgusting inside, but it gets a lot of work done, so I'm gonna share everything I know. Okay, three things, okay? Three things to get shit done with your journal, okay? First, write how you are. Disclaimer, again, don't write how you feel. There's a huge difference between how you are being present where you kind of stand versus your emotions, your, your feelings. Well, everyone repeat with me. This is not a feelings journal. Uh, my feelings journal, which I have one by the way, which is important to have, is in another room, not in my workspace. The reason why is too many people, which leads me to my second point, too many people do shit when they feel like it. No, Sarah, if you want to get stuff done, I'm just gonna break this place. If you wanna get stuff done, you need to be present on where you are. Typically, if you're emotional, you're not really present. You're like thinking about the future, you're thinking about the past. No, 
right now, how are you doing? By the way, guys, I'm really intense because this, this does really help me. So, second thing is write the shit you have to do. Step three, write objectives based on where you are. So take step one, where you are, point A, where you wanna go, point B, and write objectives to connect the dots. So this is how it looks like. I know it's hard to understand. I'm gonna give an example. When I wake up every single day, I spend half of the page talking about how I am. Let's read it. Let's, let's read it. Do you guys see, again, messy handwriting. It doesn't matter if it's aesthetic. I, I just see too many people, how they don't have the right pens or the highlighters. Bitch, I literally use a pen I found on the ground. This is not even my pen. I think I stole this from Rafi. Thanks so much for this pen. Anyways, I wrote today, hey, Jade, why am I in third person? I got an 11 hour rest, lol. I really needed that to make me feel better after Europe. Anyways, I was thinking I need to eat clean and take care of my skin before anything else. Again, super simple, just just be present. I think too many times if I dream big and I have goals, I don't, I don't understand where I am right now. Like I don't talk about how much money I have right now, how much resources I can actually use, how much fuel I have. Talk about where you are. Step two, write your goals. I literally do bullet points, bullet points, bullet points. Here's an example. Yesterday I was like, film an outro, film a day in a life, edit my photo shoot, pick a giveaway winner. So as you can see, it's just bullet, bullet, bullet. Now this is where you need to pay attention. It's crucial. After you list what you have to do and you tell yourself how you are, categorize it by objective. Take all your to-do lists and add little sections. I can send them circle, couple similar things. You just want to look for pattern, especially when a lot of shit overlaps. For example, if I have a full to-do list of YouTube, my meetings, everything, it's really scattered and I don't know where to start. If you're someone like that where you have lots of goals and ambitions, but you don't know how to do small wins and chunk it down. So what I recommend is find similar things that have overlap. And editing a photo shoot is similar because it's all about content creation and awareness. I'm gonna group it together and call it awareness. If taking meetings and preparing for them is all about income creation, I'm gonna categorize it as income. Now, after I do that, that was like one page. The second page is when I list every single hour of the day and I put a category between a sector of hours. That's really confusing, I'm sorry. Here's what it looks like. Why is the lighting like this? What is happening? Does that even help? No. Nope. Sorry, the lighting got messed up, so we're gonna film here. Where was I? I was like yelling at you guys. I just wanna make sure that I love you so much. And it's like one of those parent moves where you have to yell because it's like tough love. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Also, if you're so far enjoying this energy, give this video a like and subscribe. It actually lets me know that you like these videos or you're scared. Let me know if you're scared. After you have categories, income planning, awareness, meetings, stuff like that where you can categorize bigger objectives, schedule this in your calendar hour by hour instead of doing a small to-do list. This has helped me so much. Here's a scenario. If you're going to the gym and you're working out and you just focus on doing one, like, one weight at a time, and you don't ever step back and look at your fitness goals or where you're going, it's like building a ladder on the wrong wall. No matter how many steps you take, you're never gonna get to where you wanna go, okay? Back to this shit. Please do yourself a favor and focus on one section at a time. If you do too many to-do lists and you keep working too many groups of muscles or you're, not, you're climbing too many ladders, you're never gonna actually accomplish the focus. So bring it back to the notebook. Focus on one thing at a time. And when I say one thing, I mean one objective. There's gonna be multiple little to-dos under an objective, but categorize it per hour. For example, I focus on income creation only from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Why? Because if you focus on everything, you're basically also focusing on nothing. And it really helps me. So so now my calendar is less like to-do list, but it's just overall chunks. And now I feel a little bit more manageable. Even if I fall asleep at 5 p.m. and don't get other shit done, at least I did two sections that worked for me and I feel accomplished. Like the key of this book is to be very flexible. I love writing with this pen I found and stole from my friend. If I don't accomplish it one day, I just move it to the next one. If I feel like I'm not feeling good, I'll get myself rest. And I just literally do this for everything, my workouts, my sleep, my, my eating. Like I schedule in my meals so I don't forget to eat. And I think the biggest thing is just to have bigger overall goals and less smaller to-do lists so you can accomplish them better and focus a lot clearer. So how does this look like? Every single day I wake up at 5.30, pick up this book and do the following. Let's repeat it together if you're following along. First, write down how I am right now. Second, write the shit I have to do. And three, make objectives and schedule in order. Okay, okay. So now that you learned how to journal, why is this so important? And why am I actually screaming this topic? Because here's the dark truth, okay? Like I said before, if you focus on everything, you're gonna focus on nothing. If you're climbing up the wrong ladder, you're going nowhere. No one's going to help you do the shit 
you don't want to do. This is not a feelings journal. I have another journal for that. We can actually- <gasps> That would be an interesting video to read my feelings. It's a lot about boy problems and I like shitting problems. Anyways, if you go about life just doing shit when you feel like it, no one wants to film and edit a video until it's like 2 a.m. No one wants to, but you got it. If you really want to be serious and aggressive in this industry, you want to accomplish your dreams, sometimes you don't feel like it, but you got to do it. It's just like parenting yourself. Actually, I have a video my friend sent me. It's all about being your own parent and like, Here's an example. Going back to the very beginning of this video, I told you guys I never wanted to be a morning person. My mom had to wake me up if I wanted to go to school. But now I live alone. I'm in LA. I obviously can't rely on my mom to call me every day. Be your own fucking boss. Do your own shit. And don't rely on your feelings to get it done. Because at the end of the day, I think we as emotional creatures will never do it if we just feel like it. Grab a journal. This was literally $5 at Michael's. This one is a little more expensive because I kind of like the red and leather. Um, and find a pen you probably will steal from school or your friends. <laughs> Try these techniques out and please let me know how it is. I actually want you guys to comment below if you journal and if you found value from this video. I know this is different. Most people on YouTube will tell you what type of highlighters I use or what type of- No, this is just the dark truth. No one's gonna fucking help you do it, so do it yourself. Use my techniques. This is tried and true. I've gotten so much stuff done, and as you can tell, I have a lot more things to do up there. So, that's a separate video. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys go back to work and hustle, if that's the case, or back to school. I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've learned so many things throughout my experience of coaching brands and building businesses and being on social media that I just created this channel to share everything I know. And this has changed my life and I want you guys to know you changed my life Maybe a journal helped me become a morning person, but you guys actually helped me accomplish my purpose I know that was like super cheesy, but I just want to say thank you so much and I love you Shout out to the comment winner Shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode You want to be the next comment winner <laughs> Comment below. I actually have a giveaway running right now and it's for my 100k thank you video and not a lot of people know about it just because I only wanted it for like the super loyal fans but if you wanted a coaching session with me check it out the link will be below and the contest is ending September 18th so you have like two weeks to, to check it out. Honestly go enter it if you've ever wanted a social media code. Anyways I love you guys so much. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.